day. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I um, was working with somebody the other day and we got into a little bit of a discussion of Traceroute and how to use it and why he didn't like it and all that good stuff. I showed him some tips and tricks and he said, wow, you should really uh, write that down somewhere. That's really helpful. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do, uh, obviously, or, or maybe not obviously, I'm using the Windows command prompt. So I'm uh, what I always do is typically have my commands in a notepad here and then I just kind of copy and paste them as I go along because who wants to see a typo? So what I'm going to do is show you an example here. I'm just going to take the trace route, copy, and move that aside. And then normally I come here and I paste. So I right click and, and paste. And that's what I do. Well, I want to show you something. If you click on this little box here and you guys go to properties and we go to options, you can turn on this quick edit mode. And when you do that, you skip a step. So you just right click and it pastes it right in there. So just a little something for you. So when you type trace route, it gives you all the parameters. I'm not going to go through them all with you. I'm just going to show you uh, two of them that I really like. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace route to a uh, web server, my web server. So the techfirm.com. So you do that and off it goes. And the guy I was working with said, hey, look, see how slow it is. It takes a while to go to the next one. It takes so it takes forever. And I said, yeah, because by default, it's trying to look up the name. It's trying to do a reverse lookup. So you got a name there and it got a name. See how fast those were? And then when there's no name, you have to wait for it to time out. So I'm going to press Control C to kind of break out of that. And I explained to him that there's a, an option we can use. It's dash D. And that's that's this one up here, dash D. So I'm just simply going to paste that, paste that in here. Oh, I didn't copy it. Pardon me. There we go. Enter. So now you can see it's going a lot quicker. So if that was the issue with you, then then you can fix it that way. Uh, the other thing was we didn't have to um, go past the fifth hop. We were only testing to the fifth hop, and found it quite. He found it quite arduous that you'd have to you'd see all this other nonsense, or you'd have to press Control C. It'd be nice if we got the statistics, that sort of thing, at the end. So I also explained that there's a, an option for that as well, and that's dash H, and that's, uh, let me just bring you up here and show you, dash H maximum hops, so it actually controls how many routers or hops it goes through. So we've got the dash D to get rid of the name, and we've got dash H to control how many hops. So now it's going to go, in this case, to the fourth hop, and after four, then the trace is complete. There you go. So it's just easy. Uh, the other reason why uh, I like this, I said statistics a while ago, and that's a different command. I got confused. I apologize for that. Uh, we like to put these in scripts or batch files, and we like to record uh, the times and the responses. So if you only wanted to record the trace route four hops away, then uh, there you go. So I hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.